Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 12, and this is war number three, and we're going up against Slicem Gaming, SGA. All right, so I've already scouted out my path, and not sure how we're going to play this war at this point. Uh, we like to see how we do early on, and then the uh, officers will evaluate and then we'll decide whether we're gonna go for the win or if we're just gonna go for boss kills or full clears uh, or what have you, all right? So I take path one, section one, and that's a starburst path. So Gladiator Hulk, absolute king on this path. I have not met anyone that will give him problems. Now, I want you to notice what happened there. I forgot the defense tactics that they chose gives small champions, which she is small, chance to evade. So now you'll notice after I saw that and I was flailing around and I was like, wait a minute. Oh yeah. So I adjusted how I'm fighting. And you'll see that I'm fighting her a lot slower now. You know, not doing a full combo. All right, so I'm, you know, parry, stun, Hit, you know, one, two, maybe three, if I'm feeling, you know, a little brave. And that's pretty much it. All right. Uh, I actually fired that special off a little early. And I was like, oh, man, please hit her. Please hit her. And it did. So down she went. So not too difficult, even though I made some mistakes. Look at Gladiator Hulk's health. He is absolutely the best for this path. So next up, we've got Phoenix. Now, watch this. You'll notice, see how I scroll down? Because I wanted to make sure, yes, she is size small. So I know now that I need to play it very carefully. <clears throat> Just, you know, parry. See how I'm hitting her only when she's stunned? Just three hits. Uh, they could have limber. So I'm watching to make sure that I can hit her. And then I'm, you know, feeling a little brave, as you see there. Still doing like one, two, and hitting light attacks because you can recover faster from the light attacks. If I'm doing medium attacks and she evades, a lot of times you can't recover fast enough and then they'll uh, hit you. So, uh, as you see there, she got her right of the Phoenix, waited that out, intercepted her just once, and down she goes. So not that difficult to play around. Uh, just have to be aware of it. And I, I, like I said, I had completely forgotten about it until Hella started evading. So that was path one. Now, what you guys are about to see is sad and ugly. And I was very salty. This was my worst performance in war in seasons. So what happened is I don't normally take path one, section two. I did that a couple of times, but I never had to face a Killmonger. So before I used Dr. Voodoo and that worked. But when I saw Killmonger, I started thinking of good counters for Killmonger. And so I'm like, okay, I've got Medusa. Medusa fights Killmonger beautifully, but there's one problem, the node masochism i'm not that great at fighting masochism nodes not only that i didn't have the right champion so what you're going to see here is why medusa is not a good option for this she's going to be putting armor breaks almost on every hit but thanks to the node every time she applies an armor break after that timer goes down he's going to heal so i can't even hit him without him regenerating, as you see there. So when I saw this, I kind of got demoralized a little bit because I recognized very early that I'm not going to be able to take him down with Medusa. Just look at his health. And I even boosted up, had the indestructible, or else I would have been dead right there. And so I'm like, wow, his health is almost back up to full. It's like I didn't even scratch him. So I'm like, well, I just need to try to get him down a little bit. Maybe we can still get him down with somebody else. Because uh, I also brought Archangel, 
for the saber tooth that's later on. All right, so here, fired off the special two, and you can see he's stunned, and I'm just going in because I know that, look at that, he healed almost all of that right back up. What I should have done at that point was to just quit the fight. All right, but when I saw that, I was just like, wow. So I'm like, okay, well, Medusa, not a good option for this. Maybe somebody that can play better than I can would be able to use Medusa on this path. But the general uh, consensus in my alliance is that, yeah, Medusa is not a good option for that. So I come in here with Archangel, and I'm thinking, okay, I've done this with uh, Archangel before, fighting uh, Killmonger, but not on this node. But if I can get a Neurotoxin on, then we're golden, right? So here I have Poison, and I got Bleed. Where's my Neuro? Where's my Neurotoxin? Look at this. And then he caught me there, but the indestructible saved me. No neuro, no bleed now. I'm caught in the corner, tried to get out, wrecked. I was like, are you kidding me? No neurotoxin, where were my neuros? But when I was talking to uh, some other alliance mates, they said, yeah, it's actually somewhat difficult to get that to stick on that particular uh, node. So I'm like, wow. So you see, I'm sitting here and I cut out some of it because I asked permission to continue. And I was told, yeah, go ahead and continue. Uh, because I was still boosted up. And I was like, Archangel, he should be able to do this. I didn't want to try Gladiator Hulk just yet. But I'm like, Archangel should be able to do it. So I wanted to give him another try. So I hit a revive. I got plenty of those. And I only have a few of the uh, health potions. But I went ahead and used those, and I'm like, okay, if I can just get that Neuro on him, we will be able to take him down pretty quickly. All right? Now, at this time, I hadn't spoken to my alliance about uh, Archangel's Neurotoxins. Uh, when they told me that, yeah, that kind of happens uh, a lot on that node, it was after all of this was done. So you see, I popped another invulnerability boost. Uh, still have the 15%, and I decided to pop another one. I was, you know, as you saw, capped out on that. So I'm like, all right. You know, and I'm thinking if we can just whittle him down some, you know, we should be able to get him, you know, completely down, you know, with just a little items. So here we go again. All right. And you saw I kind of paused because I was surprised that I actually got the stun. I'm like, what's going on? And then he attacked me with an intercept right when I finally went in so i'm like okay i need to counter his attacks with my heavies like that but still now i don't even have a poison the poison got um you know because of the masochism poison got uh taken away and he got healed and look at that nothing i could do i was trying to block i can't evade that thing it was over and i'm just like okay well that's that I'm not going back in there with Archangel. And I'm not going to try again with Medusa. So I asked again. And uh, they were like, yeah, yeah, just go ahead. Keep going. And I was like, well, all I have is Gladiator Hulk. I don't think he's going to be a good option for that fight either. But maybe. So we went ahead and uh, decided to try once more with Gladiator Hulk. And... I, we do have backup, and they already know that I'm having this trouble. So I said, all right, let me just see. Maybe I can get him down further, at least to help uh, the next guy that's going to come in here. So the idea here, and look at that. I don't even know what happened there. All I was trying to do was evade his heavy like that and go in, get to my special one, get the heal block, and then try to go in, but didn't work out. I was like, are you kidding? How did I even get hit like that in the beginning? But I was like, all right, don't like Alliance War anyway. All kind of stuff happened. Look at it, he's healing back up. And I'm just like, all right, let's go ahead. We got the heal block and the stun, but I can't really punish it because look at his power. I'm just like, my goodness, this is an annoying fight here. All right, but we, I'm like, okay, we can possibly do this if I could just hit him, maybe intercept with the special one, you know, boom. 
get the heal block, but he healed up anyway. Uh, so I'm just like, wow. All right, well, I said, I'm just gonna just keep going. Try to do uh, the best that I can. Like I said, I'm not the best at fighting masochism uh, node. And finally, I just really got sick of it. Look at this, ripped up. And I said, I'm done, I'm done. All right, so at this time, we're no longer going for the win. We're just trying to get full clears. Uh, so now backup came in and let's find out how we did. All right, we're back. And as you can see, as a surprise to no one, we lost this particular war. Uh, shout out to Slicem Gaming. Uh, you guys did a wonderful job. Katie Candy, uh, very well. Uh, wish we had performed a little bit better. But kudos to you guys. And that's going to do it. We did manage to get three full clears at least. So uh, we achieved our goal. Uh, but that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.